If this mountain boy rides this bull, he does have the $17,000 bonus for the average. Again, I don't know whether that will do it for you. The year 1985, the National Finals Rodeo, Oklahoma City, a classic engagement. Now there's his traveling partner, Charlie Sampson, on the back of the shoes. You see his swell face, the bandages on him. He was slapped in the jaw by a bull earlier. Charlie just tried it. Come on, Ted. Come on, Ted. Come on, Ted. Yes, sir. Ted, going for that championship. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Ted. Yes. Look at the audience. Coming to their feet. A thousand this boy from Van Dicken, California. <laughs> Ted Noose was making history. His final ride would be remarkable enough to edge out Tom Tiedemann for the world championship title. The win brought Ted $53,000 in prize money and all the adulation and other benefits that come with such an accomplishment. It was only four years earlier that Ted had been named PRCA Rookie of the Year. He was only a year out of high school and a short time since he'd been trained by the great Gary LeFew and got words of encouragement from Larry Mayhem. Larry told Ted, you keep riding like that, and you'll be a world champion. Ted was 21 when he went to his first NFR. He finished as reserve world champion four times from 1986 to 88 and again in 1991. He missed the 1987 title by $4,000 to Lane Frost. Ted Noose qualified for the NFR a record 14 consecutive times. He also shares the record for most appearances by a bull run, also an amazing 14, with only one other contestant. From the show ring to the rodeo arena, what a run. We welcome Ted Noose into the Pro Rodeo Hall of Fame.